Good afternoon, good evening. You're watching MacOffee.com. Um, today we'll be discussing on how to carry out all the different MEP systems, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing services in a construction project. How we manage to coordinate with all these different services so we will be able to end up with a quality execution of the project. So first, we have to first of all identify the scope of work. Um, go through the different designs, be it electrical, plumbing, or mechanical. So make sure that you go through all the different designs and ensure that the shop drawings are all approved. As well as um, going through the different related designs such as ID drawings, the reflected ceiling plans for the different services. So we'll be able to coordinate with all these different drawings so we get quality system. So basically the idea here is to ensure that while we are carrying out the different services, we are taking into consideration that we also have other services that will be installed in that particular location. So we'll be able to coordinate now with all the different services so we get proper finishing, which is very important in construction project, as well as giving clearance as well to civil so they can proceed with their own activities such as wall closures, plastering, ceiling closures, etc. So I'll give you a real quick on how we will manage to carry out electrical, plumbing, and mechanical services in this building or this particular location, and how we manage to coordinate with all these different services. As you can see here, uh, this is the side view. So what we are doing here is carrying out all these different services. So I'll start with the electrical services, as you can see. We have the fire alarm system that have been identified from the drawing, as you can see. So we've done all our GI conduitings, which is done. We've raised inspection as well, get approval before we are provide, proceeding with the cable pullings, which we have done as well. So after providing the cable pulling, we'll also conduct continuity and mega test. So once that is done, we raise inspection as well, get approval, then we proceed with the next. So the next activity now will be giving clearance to civil so they can proceed with the ceiling closure. But before they proceed with ceiling closure, we need to install our devices that will be installed above four ceiling. As you can see, we've installed smoke detector, which is void detector, which is above four ceiling, as you can see we installed that already. So for the fire alarm system now, it's ready to be handed over to civil so they can proceed with the uh, installation of the ceiling. We've also done our COPEX pipes, which is a flexible conduit which we've connected from above four ceiling detector coming down to remote indicator, which will be below four ceiling. Also, as you can see here, we have another pipe that is a pipe, as you can see, flexible conduit, which is connected also. So we've dropped it down. So we'll have another smoke detector, which will be below four ceiling. You notice that we have one smoke detector above four ceiling, which is a void detector. And then we have another smoke detector, which will be below four ceiling, which is at a level of the ceiling. And then also from the smoke detector above four ceiling, we have to connect another conduit connecting the cable to it and then drop it down as you can see which will be at, uh, below four ceiling which will be the remote indicator and that part is done so the next now we also have some wi-fi points as you can see they are all connected we have our gi conduit approve everything and then we've done the cable pulling which is a cut seat cable is pulled so balance work now to be done here will be the patch cord which we have to do rj45 in. so we'll do that and then we know that service also is ready we've done also for the lighting points as you can see the GI conduit is completed so we've done the cover drop wire pulling continuity and mega test everything is approved now we've been able to do our flexible conduit drops as you can see we've dropped all the different locations for the light fixtures so we are ready also to give clearance to the civil. Mm -hmm. 
I'll move now to the FCU for the mechanical system. FCUs are all installed as you can see. We've also installed the, the docks as you can see. We have the return air dock and then we have the supply air dock. So all this will be taken into consideration from the shop drawing. So same thing that we see in the shop drawing are the same installation work that we have to carry out on site. So we've installed our FCU, we've installed as well the docks which is a supply and a return dock is being installed. So we're talking of the condensation drain, which is also installed. As you can see, this black pipe is reaching the CDP, which is condensation drain pipe. As you can see, we've connected also to the FCU. It's a fan core unit. So also we have chill water pipe, both supply and return, as you can see, CHWS. So we have both supply and return, which is connected to the valve package, and then from there connected to the FCU. So you notice that on the valve package, we also have a control system. How do we control this? We'll control it by the help of the BMS system, which is a building management system. So we've also done our cabling, conduits, and everything. As you can see, we have a box here, three by three box. So we have our flexible conduit and cable connected to the valve package of the FCU. So that case is also done for the BMS as well as all the different connectivity to the FCU. So also we have to give power to the FCU. So as you can see, we've done install our isolator unit, which is installed as you can see. We have also our flexible conduits connected cabling also termination and everything is done so ready to give that part as well to the civil foreclosure also we have our five I think pipes which are all installed as well as you can see all these red pipes they are all installed also so we've installed them we have a sprinkler heads which will be above four ceiling and then we have sprinkler heads which will be below four ceiling so before we give clearance so civil can proceed with ceiling closure we have to install all the sprinkler heads above four ceiling as you can see we've installed already as you can see so just this sprinkler head that should be installed below four ceiling which is pending so once the installation of the ceiling is installed is done we will now have to go through the reflected ceiling plan which is the rcp ensuring that all the different locations for all the MEP services that will be below four ceiling are well coordinated and as per the RCP, which is very important. So you also notice that we have penetration of different services from one wall to the other. So as you can see, we have docks which are penetrating to the next location so while we are doing penetration we have to seal all the surrounding of that particular unit which is going to the next location be it gi conduit pvc conduit ductings firefighting pipes um, cable tray trunkings ladder etc so we have to make sure that we provide sealants so you'll be able to identify all the different walls either fire rated walls or non-fire rated walls. So based on that, we'll be able to install, we'll be able to, to apply now the specific sealant for that particular application. So after doing that, we'll provide a sticker to it. Then we raise an inspection. I'll show you one point which we've done that already. Successfully, we've done here already, but there is no sticker and we've not raised inspection for any of this. Okay, just an example of this one. As you can see, so sealant is done. As you can see, there is a sticker which is done as well. So, risk inspection, get approval, then we can proceed. So, we'll take. I'll take you to this other part. We have some uh, panels here to be controlled, which will control the FCs. You can see. They are also installed. We have to ensure that how is it going to be controlled. So we install the, the control panel, do all the connections to them, connect it to the FCUs as well, give power to it as well, ensure that everything is done before we are releasing clearance for that particular service.
you'll notice that we have some core flights as you can see so all this portion they've done already you see these L channels and the C channels that have been fabricated on the ceiling as you can see so all these points these are all cove so we we'll have cove lights that will be in this location so while they are doing all this we have to provide and make a, a very good conduitings that are going to connect to it to ensure that we have our cool flight connected properly which is very important this is just a quick review so we get to understand how all this works so while we are carrying installation works on site we'll be able to coordinate with all the mechanical electrical and plumbing services in the building so we have quality work that is done on site and also to satisfy the client thank you very much and till then you're watching macocket.com do like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so anytime we upload a new video you'll be able to see it and then also if there are any comments or critics do well to comment so we can best improve in quality lessons of our videos thank you very much i hope to see you next time